preparation? How, how did you uh, go about it coming into the show? Uh, yeah, right now, almost the job is done. You know, it's mm -hmm. just a couple of hours and uh, we get the uh, recharging. But um, yeah, I just uh, did everything by myself. You know, uh, I don't work anymore with the gurus. Mm -hmm. I did what I did before as amateur and the beginning of my uh, pro career. So um, I'm really excited. I mean, uh, everything is on time. Mm -hmm. And I'm really looking forward to, uh, you know, to be on stage. I know you, <laughs> you went through a few different nutritionalists and, and uh, guru trainers and stuff like that. And yeah, I mean, uh, I, I work with a lot of people, you know. Mills was the first one, then uh, Chad Nichols, mm -hmm. you know, then uh, a couple guys from uh, Europe. But, you know, uh, I don't feel comfortable if I work with somebody mm -hmm. uh, who I cannot trust. And uh, so I did everything by myself. Just trust my friends, my wife, you know, they, because they are uh, always honest to me, mm -hmm. tell me if I look bad or good, then I know exactly what's going on, you know, what to change or not, you know. Now, two years ago, a lot of people were saying that you might have had a shot to win this thing. And then uh, last year, you know, what happened last year, not a lot of people talking about you this year. Is that something good you feel as an advantage? You can maybe sneak up on the competition? Uh, I mean, it's always like, uh, just talking, you know, it's just mm -hmm. people talking in the forums and all that. It's uh, <laughs> most of them have no idea what's about it, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, I had a shot to win the show a couple of weeks ago, but uh, then if you do any mistake, you know, something happened to you, it's over. Mm -hmm. People think, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not over, I'm not back, you know, I'm yeah. still here, and uh, uh, this is my fifth week, and I'm 31, yeah. so I got you know, a lot of time to win this thing. <laughs> a lot of experience know. and a lot of years left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got a lot of work uh, in front of me, but you know, I'll do it again. Mm -hmm. Great. Good luck, Saturday. Thank you. Well, are you really uh, taking the bodybuilding industry by storm? Your rookie year with a great showing at the Arnold and at the New York Pro. How do you feel heading into your first Olympia? I feel, yeah, I feel good because it's my dream. Jim come out to stay one time in the Olympia and maybe more times in the future. Do you feel that, uh, you know, when, did you feel like you had a peak at a certain point this year? Was it in Manhattan? Or do you feel like you're ready to go again right now? It's tough to really get down to three different yeah, shows. In my head, yeah. in my head, my show is people that I belong on the stage. And the, uh, on the Olympia, I want to show everybody that. I want to compete with all the big guys from the world. I show my fans that I belong on the stage. Uh -huh. And what would be a good placing for you? What would you walk away from this after uh, Saturday night being satisfied with? How you say, it's, uh, it's bodybuilding, you know? And tomorrow's the day, I can say that uh, I go for the top six. Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, that's my goal. Great, how's the uh, MD working with you? Enjoying MD is that? good. MD is good. Um, I want to dance. MD is uh, good. good with me. Yeah. Cool. Great. Thanks, Rob. Awesome. Troy, at one point not too long ago, you weren't going to be at the Olympia with the uh, the whole sponsorship thing. How do you feel that you got a new sponsorship and now you're here and you're ready to go? I uh, feel amazing because I'm excited that I have found someone that believed in me. My fans believed in me, mm -hmm. but then you have someone, a sponsor that comes through and they support you like that. You know, my uh, I'm just very, very, very excited to make an impact. You know, I want I, I truly feel like I can get in the top ten without question, mm -hmm. and we'll just see what happens. You know, I'm in yeah. great shape. You have a lot of experience, you've been here, you've done a lot of these big shows. Yes, sir. So you have the upper hand on some of the other guys that are just like Roly Winkler, that's yes, his first sir. time out. So yes, do you feel that that's going to give you a, an advantage that you need? I think so, because a lot of these guys, they kind of panic, you know, during this time. They get too nervous and everything else. And then the, from experience, this whole thing is just part of the routine. I'm just totally relaxed. Just wait my time in, and I know the stuff to do backstage so you stay calm and don't get too up, don't get too down, to feet up. And I, and I think that's going to pay a big advantage. I remember my first one, I was a little nervous. I wanted to keep warming up and they couldn't sit still. You know, I think some of these guys are going to make that mistake, you know, but I, I hope they don't, but I think yeah. they probably will, though.
And one last one, uh, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of the fans, they, they don't know what goes on behind the scenes, the whole thing with the sponsorship, that this does cost a lot of money out of yeah. pocket to yes, be a pro and things oh, like yeah. that. Big Everything time. doesn't come for free. So, uh, I mean, a lot of people were in your corner and yes, they, were, they were rooting for you on the boards and stuff like that. Yes, sir. So, I mean, how did that must have felt good that, oh. you know, people were wanted to see Troy Isles at the L this year? That was what motivated me to come back in it because, mm -hmm. uh, when you have your fans reaching out to want to even give you money <laughs> to make you, make sure you go in Olympia, there's nothing better than that, you know. Yeah. So that that inspired me yeah. to, to get back together and just like, and I went in it just like, well, if I don't get the money, I'm still gonna put my money out because if they were willing to give up like that, give up their money in this economy, <laughs> then I need to just suck it up and just go. And then once I made up my mind like that, then I was fortunate enough get a sponsor right after that so it all worked out so right, man. It's, a, it's a blessing for the man above <laughs> it's it's best a, of luck Saturday night him. thank you the question on everybody's mind is how is the injury oh injury is good just so uh, it was not too serious but you know just take took, took time like a few weeks uh -huh. and after that you know still we can really train heavy mm -hmm. relax, but you know, as long as uh, conditioning wise, I, I'm you know bring brought my uh, best condition ever, so uh, okay, be good. And a lot of people figured that you weren't going to do the Olympia because of the injury. Plus, you've done a lot of shows this year already. Uh, what do you feel about squeezing one more show out and one as big as the Olympia? Uh, you know, of course, Olympia is the biggest show, and uh, everybody bit uh, wants to. It's a dream, so uh, mm -hmm. why not? Uh, I, I, I don't compete. Uh, but you know, if I my injury was bad, I couldn't do it. But thank God, so, uh -huh. I recovered. So. Do you think next year you might take it slow and just do a few shows? Maybe just the Arnold and the L. Uh, might be. Uh, I, I don't think about that yet. But uh, you know, obviously I need more size. So, uh, mm -hmm. Maybe sometimes off to make me uh, better. So. Great. Good luck. <laughs>